What's up everyone, Sinistrains here, one back at you with more Tom Clancy Splinter Cell HD Trilogy. On to the final part of this trilogy, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Splinter Cell 1 and Pandora Tomorrow both completed 100% stealth, no alerts, no damage taken on the hardest difficulty, and we're going to continue that with what I believe to be the greatest Splinter Cell game ever made so far, Chaos Theory. Now, I just want you guys to know that this is going to be a thorough walkthrough of this game. This is not going to be one of those speed rushes or anything like that. I definitely want to give you guys as much story as possible, okay? there, There's these uh, interrogations and stuff like that in this game that I really like. Uh, it kind of uh, brings the story out a little bit more. Uh, more so than it did in Pandora Tomorrow or the original and I'm, I want to make sure that I give you guys as much story as possible now I could get through these missions without taking anybody out and just kind of rush through them and still remain stealthy and still get a good score and stuff but I kind of just want to take my time and just show you that everything that this game has to offer all the little nuances all the different ways that you can knock somebody out and just have fun with it so if you guys are looking forward to that with them by all means, you have made it to the right place, and we are going to go ahead and get underway. This is going to be done on, like I said, the hardest difficulty, which is expert in chaos theory. Have uh, have no fear, because we still will be continuing after this playthrough with Double Agent, and I will be doing that on the Xbox 360. This is the PS3 version. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and let's play Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. A Chinese Jiangwei class cruiser with a North Korean destroyer escort. Events in the Yellow Sea took a turn for the worse today when North Korean and Chinese forces blockaded and boarded a Japanese cargo ship. The North Korean government released no official statement, and their ambassador remained out of contact. While at the UN, Chinese Ambassador Long Dan urged the US and her longtime Japanese allies to remain calm, calling the blockades a legitimate response to what the rest of Asia views as a possible remilitarization of Japan. This blockade is an act of war. The NSC is working on a formal response, and they've ordered the USS Walsh to close at flank speed. The Walsh is the most advanced spy ship in history. My best man will be on board. What do you know? Chinese and North Korean ships working together again. It's what we expected. That's a 056 prototype, Chinese. Exactly. How are your sea legs? I haven't lost them. Good. Because the 056 prototype isn't the only new fish in the pond. Admiral Toshiro Otomo, head of Japan's newly formed Information Self-Defense Force, had this to say. This is another distressing attempt by China and North Korea to further depress our faltering economy. The ISDF and Japan appeal to our allies for the military support promised us under the post-war constitution of 1946. The fact remains that in the eyes of many in Asia, the ISDF itself is a violation of the post-war constitution prohibiting Japan from maintaining a military force capable of striking beyond its borders. In Asia, the memories of Imperial Japan are still fresh. Oh, you! 
I have no recollection of that, Senator. That's right! It has been a while. Nice condo you got here. Well, thanks. I got a space set up for you in the folks home. You can make yourself to home and, uh, heck, no one will even know you're here. Fisher. An American engineer named Bruce Morgan Holt has been kidnapped by a Peruvian separatist group called the People's Voice. Their suspected leader, Hugo Lacerda, is a hardcore revolutionary preaching information warfare as the only realistic means to achieve revolution in modern society. We need you to get in there and recover or destroy any information Morgan Holt may have been forced to divulge, and if possible, rescue him. As for Lacerda, he's just been bumped onto our target of opportunity list. So if you have a shot, take it. Hostage rescue isn't normally our bag, but Morgan Holt was part of Project Watson, the UN committee that studied Philip Mass's handiwork after Georgia. Some people are worried that this kidnapping is just a cover-up and that Morgan Holt is being interrogated for classified information about the Mass colonels. Fact is that some of the tricks Mass came up with could be used to do a lot of damage. We need to contain that information at all costs. The target area is a lighthouse attached to an abandoned Spanish colonial-era fortification and some nearby structures. We don't have an exact location on Morganholt, so you'll have to find him yourself. Insertion will be at night by Zodiac onto the beach beneath the fort. Thermal imaging shows that there are some old natural and semi-natural caves under the fort, so you may be able to use those for infiltration. All right, Fisher. The helicopter will drop you a few kilometers offshore in the Zodiac. You'll have one of my Zodiacs and logistical support in and out of the target area. Extraction will be by helicopter from the top of the lighthouse. This place international holds the contract with Wright Pritchard Technologies to protect their VIPs in potentially hostile situations. We did a thorough threat evaluation for their project in Peru, and we accepted the VIP detail on Morgan Holt. The guys who came after him knew what they were doing. This was not a tourist grab. I lost three good men in the snatch, and I'm currently preparing a rescue plan for approval from Morgan Holt's family and Wright Pritchard. This is going to cost this place a lot of money. All right, so one cool thing about Splinter Cell Chaos Theory is the fact that you can choose which loadout you want to go. Do you want, uh, I guess you could say this is starting the downfall of the Splinter Cell series, whereas there's always been stealth before. Now you actually have the choice to kind of go assault as opposed to just stealth. So it's, I wouldn't say the downfall, but it's kind of opened it up for more players. But obviously you guys know that we're going to be going with the stealth loadout because uh, that's what the true stealth guys like to do. So let's do it. Okay, here we are. Look at that. This game is seven years old. and This is like really when the, the graphics craze kind of just populated all of the games and stuff like that. I think a lot of games in 2005 when they came out, they were uh, looking so much better than before. And uh, let me tell you, this is, still looks amazing. Have all your regular visions plus a new one, which is EMF vision, which pretty much isn't going to be used too much by me. It's only just to show what things actually can be used in the environment. But uh, one really, really cool gadget that we're going to use quite a bit is the OCP, which, uh, as you can see, takes out all light instead of having to use your you know actually waste ammunition and stuff like that you can actually use that to take lights out makes you uh, a bit more stealthier than any of the previous games so that's gonna be really cool now one other thing about my walkthrough as opposed to all the other ones on YouTube is I ain't gonna be saving at all just from the beginning save um, I like to do these levels all the way through in one go and try to get everything right I feel that is the way it should be you know I don't want to save in the middle of a spot and then, um, you know, have like umpteen times to get that spot right. I want to make sure I do everything right from the beginning. So hopefully that'll work out. gunfire down there, Fisher. Everything all right? It's coming from up ahead, but Lambert. And I think Gorilla. I think Clash the car. What do you mean? I've had enough AKs fired at me in my time to tell you that wasn't one. All right. See if there's anything unusual going on with their equipment. And keep us posted. There is some kind of old bridge there. You know, I heard that smugglers used to use these old caves. Smugglers? See, they probably had all sorts of secret passages and tunnels down here. Come on. Whoa, careful. It's safe, don't worry. 
Okay, so normally I'd, I'd easily be able to get by these guys. I could have even bypassed them before they even came down. But since I actually want to show you all the little things, all the interesting conversation that some guards can have, it's going to make this definitely a more uh, watchable kind of walkthrough. And I hope you guys are going to appreciate that as well. I want these videos to be kind of long, but not too long. But at the same time, I want to show you what I believe is the right way to play this game. So. Fine, do what you like. Well, I'm gonna head back. Okay. I'm going to stay here and enjoy the view. Alright, one cool new feature to Splinter Cell Chaos Theory is kind of like a little stalking. Uh, as soon as you get close enough to a guard where you can actually stalk him, he goes into this really cool animation. And it's really fun to watch. And uh, it's pretty badass. Didn't anyone ever tell you that spelunking is dangerous? Oh no! You are going to kill me, right? Only if you say the word monkey. Now tell me something I want to know. Uh, ammunition and medical supplies. Check around inside the keep. They have tons of stuff in there. Some of you guys are real helpful. Why do you have to work for the bad guys? You're the American oppressor. You're the bad guy. Are you going to say monkey? What? No. Then this conversation is over. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. That's so badass. And then just in case I forgot to tell you guys, this is live commentary. I have a brand new iMac that I just bought, 27 inch iMac. And uh, I'm pretty much back to normal speed as far as all my editing and stuff goes. Uh, I've decided to kind of uh, give over to the dark side and go to the Mac. So uh, I'm pretty much back full speed and I'm ready to do this. I think you're right about the equipment, Sam. Yeah, they got themselves a little stockpile of high-tech kit here. The SSCC code is lot 1 of 5. See if you can find the other four. I'll do my best. Alright, so I'm waiting for this guy to kind of step a little forward, then we can kind of get out in the light a little bit. Definitely on the expert mode, you definitely want to watch out because uh, they are super sensitive. I mean, Ubisoft Montreal just pretty much jacked up AI sensitivity when it comes to expert and it's just amazing so you definitely want to watch it looks like we got a guard up here you gotta watch out for your sound as well because it actually shows all the different the sound that you're making and, and the environment of noise and all that and as you'll see when I start moving right now as you can tell yep, I was just uh, moving it too. So you definitely want to keep that meter below the one that's actually moving. That way you stay underneath. <laughs> definitely want to close this door Don't behind you. Don't you think you. he's had enough? He's had enough when he can't talk. Don't you? Madre de Dios. He hasn't been able to speak for an hour. He could be faking it. Jesus! See, I bet he's faking it. Faking it? His tongue is a lump of coal. His brain is... Enough! Saul, give him more. It's already at the maximum. What? Should I bring down another battery? <laughs> what do you say, amigo? You want another battery? <laughs> Wait a minute. His... Uh, his ears! Look! Smoke! I think I'm going to be ill. I think he's dead. <laughs> Only one way to be sure. Uh, I'm going for a walk. Alright, so obviously these guys are kind of pissing me off, so... You know what, normally I'd probably just go right around them and not worry about them. I don't know. We're gonna have some fun with these little fuckers. That's right. So many new moves that Sam Fisher has and we are gonna use them all, baby. I'm telling you. It's going to be glorious. Not kind of. <laughs> My voice kind of cracked when I said that. I meant, hi there. Alright, so let's make sure no one's still looking. 
Uh, Alright, he's out of the way. Really cool that you can actually use the sticky camera in these kind of situations. And of course you can go back to it anytime you want. You can actually have uh, multiple sticky cameras up at once. So you can get a really good layout of the surroundings. And you can collect them just like before. But this guy, this guy that we're going after right now is the guy that actually tortured uh, Morgan Holt right here. So we definitely want to take him out. It doesn't sound too good down there, Fisher. The sound isn't the problem. You should smell it. You're sure he's dead? Deader than Elvis. All right. Leave the body. We still need to recover any traces of the interrogation. Grim will call you back. I already don't like you. Don't make it worse for yourself. Who... Who are you? Shut up. Why did you torture Morgan Holt? Lacerda told us to. Why? What does he want to know? Math problems. Programmer stuff. I don't get it. You're just the stupid one who likes to hurt people, huh? Exactly. Can you think of a reason why the world wouldn't be a better place without you? Ah, uh, please. I. I didn't think so. Now, as much as I would love to actually take him completely out, we're not going to. I'm still going on that whole rule of uh, don't kill anyone unless you absolutely uh, the game mandatory makes you. So it looks like he's still kind of in the light here. So we're going to pick him up and move him to a darker area. Now what's cool about it is if you actually hold that, uh, hold the, what is it, the L, L1 button I think on the PS3. If you hold that in, it'll actually keep him kind of up in the air. Fisher, I said leave the body. You don't have the means to extract him. Just because he's dead doesn't mean I need to leave him here hanging like a piece of meat. Don't get too connected, Fisher. I need you to stay rational. You can spare 30 seconds for some simple dignity. Sam, it's Grim. We need to make sure that whatever Morgan Holt might have told them about Mass's algorithms never leaves this site. Okay. I detected a wireless link coming from the technician who left the room before you entered. So I'll need to recover any data he might have uploaded to their servers. Exactly. From the looks of it, these gorillas have a pretty temporary setup. Seems unlikely they have any kind of alarm system on location. Good. Alright, let's get him someplace quiet. Don't want to alert the guy that's actually patrolling this area here. Hi there. You look important. I am loyal. You will get no information from me. Really? Hmm, it looks like you forgot to shave this morning. Let me help you out a bit. Huh? You can't! Hey, what are you doing? Okay, okay. What do you want to know? I'm looking for Lacerda. He's been behaving very badly lately. Well, you're wasting your time, American. He left on a boat an hour ago. He could be anywhere by now. I guess I'll just have to follow him then. Don't worry. He won't slip away. I love uh, the things that Sam says. It's like, it actually just... I think just... that confirms it, Fisher. Yeah, seems like Lacerda's long gone. We'll see if we can track him through Echelon. Don't worry about him for now. We'll keep you posted. It actually seems like uh, you definitely want to like knock him out as soon as he says it, just because it kind of fits. That's pretty cool. Looks like we're clear here. Some more yeah. crates. There's uh, more than one way that you can actually go through this part right here. We're going to choose the top way, just because I seem to find it uh, the best solution. Unless you're going for that, like, that speed run, I think the top way is the best way to go. Little stalker Sam. We're going to leave these guys alone. We're going to let them go home to their wives. They didn't piss me off. We still got one more guy that actually pissed us off here. And uh, he was the one that actually came running out of the out of the room that you saw. So that's four of the five crates, Sam. Your eyes peeled for the last one. And he'll be coming up right after this part, so we're definitely gonna interrogate him and see what we can find out. Have you seen the newspaper? No. 
What is it? It's Hernandez. Hernandez? No. Is someone moving around out there? Who? Don't know who. That's why I'm worried. You can see they are very smart. The enemies know what they're doing, so you always got to kind of be on your toes. Here's the guy that we uh, ran into earlier who left the room before we could actually get to him. So let's see if we can interrogate him. Why did you torture Morgan Holt? La Celta! He wants algorithms! Some kind of computer algorithm! What does a second-rate communist revolutionary want with a computer algorithm? I don't know. I don't even think La Celda knows. I think someone might have hired us. What makes you think that? I don't know. La Celda. He's been making lots of deals. Something's going on. I don't know what. But you don't know who he's been talking to. No! And you're not much good to me anymore. <laughs> That server is the one that the tech transferred the interrogation record to. You'll need to access it. Good work, Sam. That wiped whatever information Morganhold might have given them. Don't they wonder what happened to it? It was easy enough to make your little intrusion look like a memory allocation error. Don't worry, we give you the best tools. Alright, so let's keep going. You look troubled. Thunderstorms make me nervous. What? I was a boy in Granada when the Americans invaded in 83. My father was in the army. When he realized we could not win, he led us into the mountains with some of his men. Good work, Fisher. Okay. Analyze the intelligence. The gate. Close the gate. Open the gate. Well, now the gate is broken. You want me to hire four analysts to interpret information for you? I. Second you can pretty much run from this point. I definitely recommend it. Because there's going to be a guard on the other side of the lighthouse here that you want to make sure that you can get by him without loading him. Now's a good time to actually start kind of slowing the roll a little bit. Evening start, Maria Narcisa. Come in. Evening start, Maria Narcisa. Come in. Cargo received, Maria Narcisa. It all checks out. Affirmative, Maria. Maria Narcisa out. Maria Narcisa. You're not trying to set me up on another blind date, I hope. The Maria Narcissa is a boat. So was the last girl you said. Fisher. Sorry. The Maria Narcissa is a cargo ship owned and operated by Celestinia Inc., Portuguese shipping company. Registered in the Philippines, cross-Pacific freight contracts. Lots of details missing. Sounds suspicious. Sounds like I'm setting you up for another date after all. Can't wait to meet her. Good thinking, Fisher. Now they won't be able to tell other cells they've been hit. That's the idea. Always one step ahead. The day I fall behind is the day I don't come home. Alright, now it's time to get out of here. Over here, brother. <laughs> All right. Looks like that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the lighthouse level. Just uh, kind of getting started on this Splinter Cell Chaos Theory walkthrough, and it's only gonna get better from here. Let's see how we did. Right, so it looks like we completed all of the mission objectives that we could. 
The reason uh, Rescue Morgan Holt was canceled was because he obviously he died, and we couldn't eliminate Hugo Lacerda because he is on the Marina, whatever it's called, Caesar Nasista. I don't know. I can't remember. All right, so it looks like we did that in 16 minutes and 40 seconds. Now I could probably cut that down in half. Uh, definitely, I think my record that I've had, um, and I, I've never been a speed run kind of guy, but ju- me just kind of still enjoying it, but not speed running through it. I think was like uh, four minutes and 30 seconds. So it's definitely possible. And of course, we took out seven enemies. Now, most of the enemies that we took out is because we had a reason. Either we were gathering information, or because the SOBs uh, killed Morgan Holt. So definitely uh, thought that they should at least be taken out so hope you guys enjoyed the first part of the splinter cell chaos theory hd walkthrough for the ps3 and well it's time to move on to the next one don't forget we got a lot more games coming out this week uh sleeping dogs and uh darksiders too so definitely be checking for that in the near future i want you guys to have a great week i love all of you and i'll see you next time peace out bitches